Hi, this is astrologer coach Sonia Francis and today we're going to be talking about Mercury retrograde which is going to happen on Thursday, November 24th, 2011 at 2.21 a.m. Eastern Standard Time which is the East Coast time in the U.S. and which is uh, also happening on November 23rd at 11.21 p.m. Pacific Time which is the West Coast time in the U.S. Now this will last until December 13th, 2011 at 8.43 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time and 5.43 p.m. Pacific Time. Um, so what is Mercury Retrograde? Mercury Retrograde has to do with the planet of communication, uh, travel, mail, buying, selling, uh, negotiating, sharing information, uh, contracts and documents, speaking and listening, all of that uh, is moving in energetically more inwards, it's going to be in a more feminine place, it's going to be more uh, introspective. And so the energy is more about receiving and more about reflecting. So this is a time for us to really reflect on some of the things that are going on for us uh, in our mind, in, in, in our thinking department. Um, now, with Mercury being retrograde, there is usually um, some confusion, there are usually some delays that are connected to Mercury retrograde, and there are also very often um, things will slow down or will become unclear or there's something we don't see or there's something we don't hear. So it's, a, it's really a good time to double check yourself when it comes to your communications, when it comes to your writing, when it comes to your speaking, when it comes to your listening. Um, and it's also a great time to uh, renegotiate any contracts that have already been written. Um, it's a good time to uh, do some rewrites on anything that you've written, whether you've written a book or a blog or anything like that. Um, it's also a great time to reflect, to reflect on um, who are you? What, how do you think about yourself? How do you think about your life? What are some of the ideas that you maybe need some renewal uh, within yourself? Uh, how, how can you expand a little bit uh, in terms of your horizons, in terms of how you think about life? You know, this, this Mercury retrograde is taking place in, in Sagittarius. So Sagittarius is all about expanding our horizons, thinking bigger, coming from a bigger, bigger picture place you know, uh, understanding um, a little bit what our motivations are on a, on a, on a larger scale, on a broader scale. So um, what, is this, what is Mercury Retrograde good for? You know, what, what, what are some of the things that we can do that serve us during Mercury Retrograde? Now the things that are really great during Mercury Retrograde is reorganizing your life, whether it's your apartment, whether it's your office, whether it's, it's just, uh, you know, your paperwork, uh, anything that has to do with reorganization uh, is great during this time. The other thing that's really great during this time is reconnecting with long-lost friends or clients. So if you have any clients from the past that you haven't spoken to in a while, reconnect with them. Friends, same thing. Um, the other thing that's great during this time is to, to just reflect. To reflect on the past three weeks and see is there anything that needs re-communicating? Is there anything that needs you know, re-strategizing or rethinking, you know. Um, make sure that during this time you you get people's, get like a second opinion from somebody else. If you're not clear about something, if you get confused about something, make sure that you double check your emails, that you double check what you're saying to people, or make sure that you're actually hearing what people are saying to you. Um, and um, from my own experience, I would say it's, it's not a great time to buy communication devices like computers or phones or iPads or anything like that. Um, if you have to uh, buy something like that during that time, um, even cars, like if you have to buy a car or a vehicle, if you have to sign contracts during this time, just make sure you, you, know, you double check all the details about it. Make sure you read, read, read the small print. Uh, make sure you get a second opinion to see if, if it's really the right thing for you to do right now. And, you know, if it is, and if this is the time for you to do it, then just know that, you know, maybe this is perfect for you right now. Maybe, you know, your Mercury's retrograde in your natal chart, and this is the perfect time for you to do this. 
uh, maybe um, you've already been planning on, on, on buying this device for six months and you know now it's just the time that you have the money to do it that's fine too then do it but if it's like a spontaneous thing where you just decide you know right now I want to buy myself a new phone or a new computer you know maybe you can wait until uh, Mercury is direct or even out of its shadow and Mercury will be out of its shadow on, this, on January 1st 2012 and um, the reason um, it, it's in its shadow between December 13th and January 1st is because when it goes retrograde it moves backwards in the sky so it goes from like 20 degrees of Sag to 4 degrees of Sag and then once it goes direct it moves forward again but it's in its shadow until it has reached the 20 degrees Sag that it that it started going retrograde at so that will be on January 1st so if you can wait until January 1st if until the new year to get anything completely new for yourself that would be great um, and again if you can't uh, then just you know know that there might be some delays or there might be some difficulties you might have to you know maybe exchange something or you know recommunicate renegotiate you know things like that okay so um, this is this is Mercury retrograde this is a busy week there's also going to be a solar eclipse coming up at the end of the week and I'm going to be doing another video blog about that but if you want to know where in your chart Mercury goes retrograde, if you're going to be uh, affected by, by this Mercury retrograde, um, then just email me uh, at Sonia, S-O-N-J-A, at astrologercoach.com. And for a fee of $28, I'll be happy to send you a brief reading via email uh, about where in your chart this is taking place and whether it's affecting any of your personal planets uh, and which area of your life is going to be most affected by this, uh, by this transit. Um, and um, if you uh, don't know this yet, I have daily blogs that I do on my website. So please follow uh, my, my daily astrology forecasts if you, if you like to uh, at www.astrologercoach.com slash blog all right so uh, have a great week um, and stay tuned for the solar eclipse that's coming up very soon as well all right have a good one bye bye